Y'all see these flowers I went and got for my baby? Y'all see these flowers? Let me tell y'all what I went through to get these flowers. These ain't no 1-800 flowers. No, these ain't no you go online and order them. I, I went and picked these flowers up myself. Through the rain, the sleet, the hail, the snow. snow. It was 13 below outside this morning. I went and got these flowers. Hand picked them. Picked all the thorns out by myself. Walked uphill both ways. Through the ice. Barefoot. Just to get my baby these flowers. Look at the flowers. Look at them. <laughs> They're beautiful. You see though. the texture, the colors? I don't play no games. And I did all of this for my baby because it's Mother's Day and she deserves it. She deserves it. And I want you to know, baby, no, listen to me because I'm being, I want you to know that at 3.30, the Golden State Warriors play the Spurs. And I got to be there, all right? Love you, baby. Happy Mother's Day. Are you serious? Day. Happy Mother's Day. Look at your man. Look at your man in straight chill mode. <laughs> what you checking for down there? Huh? This, this is the ultimate Saturday man pose. What you checking for down there? Huh? Oh, oh, there you go. You trying to crawl away? Yeah, oh, you trying to crawl away? All right. Nope. Nope. Well, look. Oh, I need we have a conversation with you and... Yo, why you walking around with, with your drawers on, man? You don't own this house. Nobody walk around this house with their drawers on. Both of y'all. Yeah, look at you. Is. Grandma walks, Grandpa walks around his house with his drawers on. Only I can walk around this house with my drawers on. Or put some clothes on. Why? Because you paid the You bill? put some clothes on too. You can walk around with your drawers on too if you want to. Sure. <laughs> walk around with your drawers on. But I ain't responsible for what happens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't nobody know what you're saying. Yeah, nobody knows. I know you need to go put some clothes on. So. <laughs> Dads always know when their kids are in trouble. What's up, buddy? What's up, Daddy? You got in trouble, huh? Yeah. What'd you do? Mommy asked me in my little thing. I said, yeah, but it wasn't. Jackson, if your room is dirty, why you ain't just tell the truth and say your room was dirty? What you lie to your mother for? I didn't lie. It was the Bow Wow Challenge. She didn't even think it was funny. Thanks, Shed. Okay, so I may do a lot of things, um, but one thing I'm not really good at is being handy, like assembling things and whatnot. And I mean, I can't even say that I'm not good at it, but maybe I've just been spoiled because I've always had like my grandfather, rest in peace, to help me put things together, or my brother, or Deval. Um, I had this one particular piece of furniture that I got in January and it's been sitting in the box since January and I clean around it and I clean around it but right now I am in cleanup mode because I want to get this house in order finally. Um, I feel like it's not 100% where I want it to be especially because after I had Cairo we were technically still at DeVal's parents house because our place was being renovated. So while it was being renovated, there were a lot of things that were kind of lost in the shuffle. So now, here we are. Cairo is about to be, or he just turned eight months, and I feel like I need to get my life, because I can't live in disarray. It's driving me crazy. That being said, I've had this vanity to be put together since January. It's the end of May. Well, mid-May. And it's still in the box. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to put on my tool belt and try to put it together myself. So here we have it. It's in the box. Right there. So I took the directions to the Val and I'm like, hey, this Allen key thing, where does it go? And he's like, oh, you putting that together now? Why don't you just wait? How much longer do you want me to wait? Bruh, it's been sitting there since January. It's May. February, March, April, May. Four months that it's been sitting in the box. How much longer am I supposed to wait? So I'm gonna give this a shot. And you know what? I might not get it, but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try again. Cause I need my vanity. <laughs> this is what it looks like when your wife ain't got no patience. And she says, babe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it together by myself. And you call her bluff and say, go ahead, go ahead, put it together by yourself. I'm ain't gonna got be, no patience. I'm gonna be in a living room. It came since 
since January. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, it's May. I'm How much be, more patience am I supposed to have? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in a living. That's four months. I'm gonna be. Don't lose any of the parts. That's don't lose. Don't lose any of the parts. I'm gonna be in a living room. All right. Once you realize that you can't do it by yourself. Why well, I gotta go through all of that though? Once you realize you can't do it by months. yourself. Fine. I'll come in here and fix it. All right. Whatever. All right. No patience. No, no patience. patience. Get out of here. Four months no later. patience. Are you me? No patience. None. 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 Don't lose none of the screws, Diva. See, already I'm off to a great start. This is the stool, right? <laughs> so this is the stool. You look at that. Voila. Nice and sturdy. I even tried to sit on it. Didn't fall. Didn't rock around. Perfect. <laughs> on to the next part. Here we have it. The final product. Done all by myself. You know what? I should have just followed my mind and like four months ago did it myself. <laughs> but I thought I could get Deval or somebody to help me with it. Clearly not. And it's done, it's put together. I'm pretty confident that it's sturdy, you know? I screwed everything in, I used the damn Allen key, which is annoying by the way, I don't know if anyone's ever used an Allen key before, but it's annoying. It's Let me talk to y'all about my morning, all right? First of all, let me talk to y'all about marriage. Marriage is 24 hour training for the petty Olympics, okay? I'm gonna explain why. Last week, me and Kadena have an argument about the American Express bill, okay? Now granted, she does all the shopping for the household, so I already know that her American Express bill is gonna be higher than mine. But me being a budget kind of sorted I am, I try to find ways to nip and tuck and cut things, right? Okay, last week we going through the budget, she don't say nothing, she just goes, Okay, Deval. At that point, I knew she was up to something, all right? So I wake up the next day, all the toilet paper in the house is gone. All of it. I say, yo, where the toilet paper? She said, oh no, I returned all of the, the Charmin toilet paper. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some other toilet paper. So me, being the petty person I am, I said, okay, Kadeem. She comes back with the worst toilet paper ever the lowest grade of toilet paper it wasn't even white it was brown and it felt like loose leaf paper so i'm rocking with it because she want to be petty i want to be petty i ain't even gonna say nothing i'm gonna just be quiet so now it's a battle a battle is ensuing between me and my wife right so now i'm using the toilet paper i ain't saying nothing but my ass is on fire fire i'm walking funny i can't even train properly every time i try to run my ass feels like it's burning pause but i can't say nothing because i can't lose the petty battle so you know what I start doing? I start going into Roro's bed and I'm using the A&D ointment. Bah! Now I'm good, the A&D ointment heals everything. Heals diaper rash, heals uh, whack toilet paper rash. So I'm straight, I got the A&D ointment, right? So this is going on for the past week. This morning I wake up on fire, bro, on fire. I run out, I go to get the A&D ointment. Kay had took Cairo with her and took Cairo's bags. So I ain't have no A&D ointment. So now I'm looking around, I'm like, damn, what can I do? What can I do, right, what can I do? So I go into her little feminine product case. What do I find in there? Toilet paper. And not any old toilet paper, not even the Charmin. She got like the Chanel of toilet paper. It's like the, the toilet paper had the thread count and it had like gold trimming. This was the best toilet paper I ever seen. This was the same type of toilet paper they use to come into America. So now I'm tight, right? So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna call until I, you know what? I'm not even gonna call until I found the toilet paper. She wanna be petty, let's be petty. So I did what any other man would do in this situation. I go into the shower, I see where all her hair care products are, right? I flush them down the toilet. But I don't just flush it down the toilet. I took a picture of where all the bottles were. This way, when I flush it down the toilet, I put all the bottles back exactly the same way they were before I touched them. So she's gonna get in the shower. She's gonna go wash her hair, all her bottles empty. And I don't care, I don't care. You're not gonna out-petty me. That's not, no, you're not gonna out-petty me. Sorry. So y'all know me and Kadeen in the middle of a petty battle, right? Yeah. 
I know she seen the video because she liked it. Mad petty. She sent me the three finger emoji during text. And she got rid of all the bottles. All the bottles is gone. She's trying to be normal. She made me dinner like normal. I ain't eat it. I'm not falling for that one. I got Jackson here laying in the bed with us to make sure she don't do nothing while I'm sleeping. But I'm not helping though. Y'all all in the comments talking about some no, not the hair care products. Y'all all snatching the air out. Not the hair care product. Hey. Why you all, what's wrong with you? Why you all fidgety? Ain't nobody fidgety. You all walking behind me. This Judy, knock. I'm not in my own room. I'm getting my phone charger. Crazy. You all right? I'm fine. What am I scared? <sighs> so, guys, um, Kadeem needs help. Yeah, she's um, she's not normal. She's she's a sociopath. Um, she needs she needs prayer. Okay, I wake up this morning and I go to take Jackson to school, right? And I go to put on my sneakers, and none of my sneakers have laces. None of them. All my J's, no laces. And I'm not even talking about just the laces. You see what I'm saying? She's a sociopath. You're like, yo, you're like a diabolical evil villain. Who does this? Who has time to do this? I got over like 30 pairs of sneakers. Don't I don't want no kisses, man. You need you need prayer. I'm I'm gonna I'm we need to start a prayer circle for Kabeen. This 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 ain't normal, yo. This is not normal. Ladies and gentlemen. Walking down the street with the one and only Petty LaBelle. That would be me. Yup, that was you. <laughs> Mad Petty for no reason. But I you own know, it. Own it, because you're lucky. You're lucky I matured. I've grown up a lot, because I was going to get your ass too. Get you're my lucky. ass how? I was going to, see, since you want to know, I was going to scrape all the red off your red bottoms. I was going to put it in a little bucket, make a little potion, then I was going to write on your mirror, the champ is here. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you see, that's your problem. What's my problem? Your problem is that you're too overtly petty. Like, sometimes the best part of being petty is a subtle petty. How am I too you, overtly petty? You're what is, overtly how petty. How you be subtle petty? What's subtle about taking 36 pairs of sneakers and taking all the laces out of all of the sneakers? I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing subtle about that. You Why are you walking so slow? What? Come I know on. why you're walking slow. Why? See, his. I know why you're walking slow. Down, where your please. car? Where your house key? It's in my bag somewhere. So get it out. Huh? Get it out. I'll, no, cause you, you know you want to wait for me to get to the door first and use my key. But Deval, you always use. Let me see key. your house key. What do you mean? It don't matter if I always use my key. It's wait, in me, here somewhere. Let, let me see it. I gotta take for it now. So cause I'm then you gonna make me take my key out. So then take your key out. It's easy. It's probably in your pocket. So why we always gotta use my key? Does it matter if we use your key or not? Yeah, my key got mad usage. I don't want to use my key. <laughs> this is so annoying. That's not annoying. So not, it's, so see, this walking. is what I this is what I deal with. Cause what if what if you was walking from the house by, from the car by yourself? If I'm by myself, then I have no choice but to have my key. But if I'm with you, what I have my key for? So you only do this with me. Yes. That's my point. That's my point. She only do this shit to me. You do this shit on purpose. Are, go we, ahead. Ever, are we ever gonna get home? No, God, you go first. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Deval, come on, I'm serious. Come on, let's go. All right, go ahead, go first. So we're gonna stay here all night. Oh, you mad petty, man. You mad petty, son. That's why I'm. Nope, I'm gonna get myself in. I'm gonna let myself in. Get your own key.